Today's lesson is on factoring perfect square trinomials and factoring the If you remember when we learned the pattern, perfect square trinomials were a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That was the trinomial form of the factored form a plus b times a plus b, or a plus b squared. So for instance, x squared plus 6x plus 9 was x plus 3 times x plus 3, or x plus 3 squared. Similar to that was the second type of pattern for perfect square trinomials, which was the a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, and that was a minus b times a minus b, or a minus b squared. So for instance, x squared minus 2x plus 1 was x minus 1 times x minus 1, or x minus 1 squared. A trinomial is a perfect square if the first and last terms are perfect squares. The middle term is 2 times 1 factor from the first term and 1 factor from the last term. So for instance, 9x squared plus 12x plus 4, 9x is a perfect square and 4 is a perfect square. 9x is 3x times 3x or 3x squared, 4 is 2 times 2 or 2 squared. The middle term has to be 2 times whatever was being squared in the first term times whatever was being squared in the second term. So 2 times 3x times 2. Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square. If so, factor, if not, explain. For 9x squared minus 15x plus 64, 9x squared is a perfect square, 3x times 3x, or 3x squared. 64 is a perfect square, 8 times 8, or 8 squared. The middle term would need to equal 3x times 8 times 2. 3x times 8 times 2 does not equal negative 15x. So 9x squared minus 15x plus 64 is not a perfect square trinomial because negative 15x does not equal 2 times 3x times 8. Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square, if so factor, if not explain. 81x squared plus 90x plus 25 81x squared is a perfect square, could be broken down into 9x times 9x, or 9x squared. 25 is a perfect square, could be broken down into 5 times 5, or 5 squared. The middle term would e need to equal 9x times 5, times 2. So to factor, a is 9x, b is 5, the middle would be 2 times a times b, or 2 times 9x times 5. So we would factor into a plus b, or 9x plus 5, in this trinomial, in parentheses, squared. Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square, if so, factor, if not, explain. For 36x squared minus 10x plus 14, the trinomial is not a perfect square trinomial, because 14 is not a perfect square. 36x squared minus 10x plus 14 is not a perfect square trinomial. Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square, if so, factor, if not, explain. This is an example for you to try on your own, and then you can check back for the answer. x squared is a perfect square, breaking down into x times x, and 49 is a perfect square, which can be broken down into 7 times 7, or 7 squared. The middle would have to equal x times 7 times 2. So to factor, our a value is 1x, and our b value is 7. So if we wrote it out, we would write it a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, x squared minus 2 times x times 7 plus 7 squared. So we write the trinomial as a minus b squared, because there was subtraction between the first two terms, there's subtraction in our binomial. So in this case, it would be 1x minus 7 squared. Determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square, if so, factor, if not, explain. 9x squared minus 6x plus 4. This is an example for you to try, and then you can check back for your answer. 9x squared is a perfect square, 3x times 3x, or 3x squared. 4 is a perfect square, 2 times 2, or 2 squared. The middle would have to equal 2 times 3x times 2. 2 times 3x times 2 does not equal negative 6. 
9x squared minus 6x plus 4 is not a perfect square trinomial because negative 6x does not equal 2 times 3x times 2. A square piece of cloth must be cut to make a tablecloth. The area needed is 16x squared minus 24x plus 9 inches squared. The dimensions of the cloth are of the form cx minus d, where c and d are whole numbers. Find an expression for the perimeter of the cloth. Find the perimeter when x equals 11 inches. So 16x squared minus 24x plus 9 is the area. To factor, we would get 4x squared minus 2 times 4x times 3 plus 3 squared. This is a perfect square trinomial pattern. So we would rewrite it as 4x minus 3 in parentheses squared. That means that you can also break it into 4x minus 3 times 4x minus 3. Those would be the measures of the two sides of the tablecloth because width times length is the area. 4x minus 3 is the side length of the tablecloth. Now we have to write a formula for the perimeter of the tablecloth. Perimeter, p, equals 4 times the side length. We substitute the side length for 4x minus 3 and multiply 4 times 4x minus 3. We would get 16x minus 12. So the perimeter of the tablecloth in inches is 16x minus 12. Now we need to evaluate the expression when x equals 11. So perimeter equals 16x minus 12. We substitute 11 for x, 16 times 11 minus 12, and we would get 164. When x equals 11 inches, the perimeter of the tablecloth is 164 inches. Here's an example for you to try on your own. What if a company produces square sheets of aluminum, each of which has an area of 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 meters squared? The side length of the each sheet is in the form of cx plus d, where c and d are whole numbers. Find an expression in the terms of x for the perimeter of a sheet. Find the perimeter when x equals 3 meters. You can try this on your own and then check back for the answer. So the area was 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. A is 3x and B is 1. This is a perfect square trinomial pattern. We write it as 3x squared plus 2 times 3x times 1 plus 1 squared. Factored would be 3x plus 1 squared, or our A plus B squared. That can also be written as 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. So the side length of a sheet is 3x plus 1 meters. We need to write a formula for the perimeter, which perimeter would equal 4 times the side length. We're going to substitute the side length in, which was 3x plus 1 for s, so we get 4 times 3x plus 1. Distribute the 4 and we get 12x plus 4. An expression for the perimeter of the sheet in meters is 12x plus 4. Now we need to evaluate the expression when x equals 3. Perimeter was 12x plus 4. We substitute 3 for x, and we get 12 times 3 plus 4, which is 40. When x equals 3 meters, the perimeter of the sheet is 40 meters. Difference of two squares pattern was a squared minus b squared, and that was factored into a plus b times a minus b. So for example, if you add x squared minus 9, that would factor into x plus 3 times x minus 3. In chapter 7, you learn that difference of squares um, has the form a squared minus b squared. The difference of two squares can be written as the product a plus b, a minus b. You can also use this pattern to factor some polynomials. A polynomial is a difference of two squares if there are two terms, one subtracted from the other, and both terms are perfect squares. So for instance, 4x squared minus 9, 4x squared is a perfect square, can be broken into 2x times 2x or 2x squared, and 9 is a perfect square, and it can be 
broken down into 3 times 3, or 3 squared, and subtraction is in between the two terms. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain. 3p squared minus 9q to the fourth. 9q to the fourth is a perfect square. It can be broken down into 3q times 3q squared times 3q squared. But 3p squared is not a perfect square. So 3p squared minus 9q to the fourth is not the difference of two squares because 3p squared is not a perfect square. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain. 100x squared minus 4y squared. 100x squared is a perfect square, which can be broken into 10x times 10x, or 10x squared. 4y squared can be broken into 2y times 2y, or 2y squared. The polynomial is a difference of two squares. 10x squared minus 2y squared. So our a term is 10x and our b term is 2y. So we write the polynomial as a plus b times a minus b, which for this one is 10x plus 2y times 10x minus 2y. 100x squared minus 4y squared equals 10x plus 2y times 10x minus 2y. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain x to the fourth minus 25y to the sixth. x to the fourth is a perfect square, which can be broken into x squared times x squared. 25y to the sixth is a perfect square, which can be broken into 5y to the third times 5y to the third. The polynomial is a difference of two squares. x squared squared minus 5y to the third squared. So our a term is x squared and our b term is 5y to the third. We write the polynomial as a plus b times a minus b, which for this uh, binomial is x squared plus 5y to the third times x squared minus 5y to the third. So x to the fourth minus 25y to the sixth equals x squared plus 5y to the third times x squared minus 5y to the third. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain. 1 minus 4x squared. This is an example for you to try, and then you can check back for your answer. One is a perfect square and can be broken into one times one, or one squared, and four x squared is a perfect square, which can be broken into two x times two x, or two x squared. The polynomial is a difference of two squares. A would be equal to 1 and B would be equal to 2x. So 1 squared minus 2x squared. We write the polynomial as A plus B times A minus B. 1 plus 2x times 1 minus 2x. So 1 minus 4x squared equals 1 plus 2x times 1 minus 2x. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain. p to the eighth power minus 49q to the sixth power. This is an example for you to try, and then you can check back for the answer. p to the eighth power is a perfect square and can be broken into p to the fourth and p to the fourth. 49q to the sixth power can be broken into 7q to the third and 7q to the third. The polynomial is a difference of two squares. Our a, our a value is p to the fourth, our b value is 7q to the third. So we would write it as a squared minus b squared, or p to the fourth squared minus 7q to the third squared. We write our binomial as a plus b times a minus b, so p to the fourth plus 7q to the third times p to the fourth minus 7q to the third. So p to the eighth minus 49q to the sixth equals p to the fourth plus 7q to the third times p to the fourth minus 7q. Determine whether each binomial is a difference of two squares. If so, factor. If not, explain. 16x squared minus 4y to the fifth. This is an example for you to try, and then you can check back for your answer. 16x squared is a perfect square and can be broken into 4x times 4x but 4y to the fifth is not a perfect square. 
16x squared minus 4y to the fifth is not the difference of two squares because 4y to the fifth is not a perfect square.